Hi, Paul Gorney from Chicago Luxury Living. Just looking at moving to Chicago. Moving to Chicago now in the fall market, moving into the spring market, and moving to the North Shore of Chicago, anywhere in the Chicago area. So what happens now this time of year is different. Uh, the COVID effect is diminishing a little bit. Uh, the market is slightly cooling, and uh, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit more of a normal uh, fall market where there will be less inventory and less demand and um, things will just change up a little bit so if you're moving to Chicago this time of year uh, there's some things that you really want to be aware of number one you want to be aware of that a lot of things will be available off market um, people will take their homes off the market for the holidays some of them will be open to selling still some of them won't uh, some of them will and want to close in January uh, or February. A lot of people don't like to uh, close in the, the winter months and move during that time for obvious reasons. It's very cold here, snowy, icy, all that fun stuff. So uh, it really affects the real estate market. Typically, last year was, you know, just really hot this time of year, which is very unusual. And I think it'll be a little better than average uh, this year, but uh, probably be uh, a little bit cooler like it normally would be. So things to be aware of. Um, the properties downtown are still uh, plentiful. High rises are coming back a little bit, but not quite uh, to a level that's normal. But single family homes have been hottest I've ever seen in 30 years. Uh, city, suburbs, everywhere. And uh, it's been super, super hot so um, when you're moving to the city uh, you know school years are a factor same with the suburbs uh, people are getting transferred moving in um, you got to find a motivated seller um, which you know still can be done but uh, just things you want to be aware of so I'll tell you a quick story that's kind of interesting about moving this time of year you know it's like mid-September now almost the end of September I have a professional athlete client uh, moving here um, and moving from much different market, much different, uh, much larger homes, much less expensive homes. And now we're, you know, looking at the city, which, you know, all the lots are pretty close. Even makes you realize a lot of the North Shore uh, homes uh, are fairly close together compared to other parts of the country. So. Um, to get the inventory, you know, where he can make an educated decision, find something he likes, takes a lot of hustle. So there's a lot of agents that I know that have kind of this quiet inventory. Um, I myself have quiet inventory, meaning people I know will sell, are open to it, but don't have their house listed anywhere. Just from being a really uh, aggressive, active agent in the market, have uncovered probably 20 homes that are options to kind of get uh, enough choices because as I said this time of year you know it gets a little more quiet so you got to really hustle to find to find things so some of these people are pretty darn motivated we've kind of zeroed in on one uh, very uh, high profile uh, seller and uh, doesn't really need the money um, but would like to sell it for convenience so could be a good opportunity to pick it up for a good price um, and uh, you know get in uh, before the season starts another quick story about this market right now is there can be people blowing in from out of town at a moment's notice that um, are swooping in buying homes that have not been able to sell for six nine months even in the hot market because this one home was you know between nine and eleven million dollars and um you know it's been sitting and then i had a client for the home they just took a few weeks to make a decision somebody you know flew into town paid cash closed right away because in this time of year again it's really the only option if you want to buy a lakefront home i mean there's nothing else and you would think there's not a lot of demand for that but there's more demand than you think, especially in the fall. Um, you know, most people will wait for a lakefront home to put it on the market 
Uh, if it's a resale home uh, that someone lives in, we'll put it on in the spring. This is new construction. He wants to sell it. It's the only thing out there. They paid pretty close to full price, paid cash, closed right away. It's a little bit of a function of the fall market. There's just, uh, if something is needed, it's not really there that much. It's, there's not as much of it. So the demand can spike like crazy as it did in this situation. New construction homes are in huge demand still. The ones that are priced, you know, anywhere from a uh, million to a million three, four. Uh, there's really, in many areas, not enough of them to go around and uh, they'll sell tremendously. So this time of year, they will sell even better um, sometimes. This is, uh, uh, there's so few of them. And if people are moving in, relocating, a lot of times they're just really under a time crunch and they need it. So they'll pay up, they'll buy it right away. I have someone that, um, that I've kind of observed, uh, not a client, but someone that has been looking uh, feverishly for uh, a home for probably four months. They could not find something that they wanted. Uh, they wanted something, you know, a little bit more specific than most. And uh, they just gave up, really, and uh, rented uh, kind of a luxury type condo and possibly going to look next year. Um, so it's just an example of people giving up and having a hard time. Um, you know, finding what they want. Hi, Paul Gorney from Chicago Luxury Living. Have a new video each week. Represent a lot of our professional athletes, business leaders, and then everyone from first time buyers on up. Just give a call, text, email if you need any help at all. One of the properties I just sold, sold immediately within a few days, had potential for multiple offers. We did get one, we got a full price offer totally renovated, person relocating. Uh, we had it priced perfectly. And uh, that's just a typical sale right now. It was a smaller townhome. Um, the other thing that just uh, went under contract was uh, a home kind of out in one of the burbs of Chicago. And uh, these people were a, a little too confident because my clients paid you know, a fair price. There was an inspection issue on a fireplace that was 10 grand and they really really dragged it on they almost lost my people because they could have bought a different home um, but you know they they finally came to their senses and gave us the money and you know got it done so um, you know those people in particular that house I don't think would have flown off the market I think it's more of a, a normal kind of demand house and it could have sat over the winter I think on that one so it's really dependent you know, on the situation, but overall, the market is still pretty strong. The North Shore of Chicago and Chicago both have some really great schools. So they'll fit you in this time of year if you like, but just finding the right home and uh, the right place to live.